Howdy. Welcome to Impromptu. Let's get on with it live. Show where occasionally we consider getting on with it. It's been known to happen from time to time. We'll be hanging out with you this morning. We'll be playing a game. Never thought I'd play again. Resolving a map that I have ended up playing two sessions of already. We're going to review the situation as it exists thus far. Before I uh, disappear yonder pole. Devagander. Okay. So, when last we left off. Disappear. We started... A Monarch difficulty game on Shuffle. No huts, no events. Ended up on an archipelago, sharing a large landmass with one AI, Louis XIV, who he loves to build wonders. We kicked him off his island. Well, we kicked him out of his home cities in two wars, exiled him over here, then vassalized him. And he's been irrelevant ever since. Gives me a little bit of happiness, courtesy of... We influence other civilizations, and by this point, most of the we yearn to join our motherland is gone. During last stream, we met everyone else on the board. We met Peter, whose land is rubbish. We met Weinekapak, one of the most dangerous AIs in the game, but his land is pretty poor as well, and he got dragged down in warring with, with Justinian. Just both dragging themselves down, and poor Justinian here didn't have much the way to expand to at all. The AI doesn't do well in Archipelago, because the AI doesn't really handle naval invasions that well in this game. And it being Monarch, not really going to have a difficulty out-teching the AI without severe pressure. We also met Sitting Bull, who had peacefully vassalized Darius. Sitting Bull, one of the weakest AIs in the game, I don't know much about his turf. But I expect my caravels to eventually get me that knowledge through one means or another. I've got vision on Wynakapak cities, some of them. And uh, Peter cities through espionage. I had just redeemed a Golden Age, the second Golden Age I have cashed in. Currently building the Taj, which upon its completion will get me another Golden Age. Uh, this game is not under threat of me losing. Uh, that's been true since I destroyed Louis and took this stuff, and was confirmed when I met the other civilizations. No one is in my dominating position. No one. I have too many cities. I'm getting more cities. I'm too powerful. All this land was trash. Back when it was covered with jungle and I needed calendar to make use out of many of the resources on the landmass. But now that I've cleared all the jungle tiles except for one, which no city can work, and populated other landmasses to get plenty of commerce from overseas trade, and I've got astronomy to get even more overseas trade with a number of other factions, I, it's impossible for the AI to beat me. It would take a catastrophic series of failures. Like, Sitting Bull would have to declare war on me, and I would just not have to do anything, and he'd have to take over these cities, and once you got to, like, here, then we could have a genuine threat of me losing the game. But that's not going to happen. So the rest of this show, for whatever it's going to be, is just me coasting to the finish line, and the poll that's up there on the screen is basically to determine We'll ask for the viewers who are going to be watching me this morning in my impromptu broadcast, how the hell you want me to coast? I've got a number of civic options I can flip to, with more potential things coming along the way. So I can flip to punching some folks. Just a question of whether I am going to. So yeah, if you're still lurking out there, or just filtering in, you can put one or two in the chat. Taking a look at the cities thus far, besides the capital, which is the only city I'm bothering to micro 
at this point. All the others I'm scolding. We have Lakama, which in ended up getting a gems pop for free out of the mines. Uh, mines have a small percentage chance of producing uh, a few resources, gems being one of them, which is really sweet. We have Chichen Itza, Uxmal, Mayapan, Kalakmul, which still is rock and whip anger. I whipped a lot of uh, units out of this. This place. And then we have our French conquests. I settled this to take advantage of the Great Lighthouse. And that's the final French city I took. As for wonders I've built, the Great Lighthouse and the Mausoleum of Mausolus for extra gold and age length. Our Oxford University is a national wonder, and I have the heroic ep national epic over here. I took the Mids, the Parthenon, the Temple of Artemis, and the Great Wall from Louis. So, eventually, I'll have military units standing in all these cities over here. Just one. Just to help pacify the city. Otherwise, they fear for their safety. And that escalates the more pop there is in a city. We'll do a little bit of whipping. Transition back to wealth. There's a number of other things I could build in these cities. This place, for example, uses a territory. I'm skipping the forges, although that's a multiplier on hammers. So it goes. I've only built a forge in the capital. These things happen. I'm not really too concerned about building wonders, just cherry picking, as you should. For what fits your strategy? Hey, Grant. Did you end up winning the game that you had one credit on at the end? That's about the gist of it. For how that's going here. Just plodding along. I didn't have any particular goal in mind for how I was going to pursue the game. Completion. This is why I was kicking it to a vote. Alright. Which, I guess we'll draw that to a close. Good work, buddy. Okay. Space it is. I can do space. Had I had you guys voted for naval domination, I would have got a bunch of galleons, routed them here. Two galleons for each city. Of one a Put six rifles on each galleon. Sailed them over here, taken all of his land. And then I would have done it to Justinian. I would have saved Peter, because he's my friend. And I would have saved Sitting Bull and Darius, because taking, like, one over one of those nations basically means I have to take over both, due to how the cultural influence would work. Alright, we'll plot along for space, then. I can do that. Means I'll have to remember... My tech routing. Ah, who am I kidding? I'm not going to remember that. We're going to grab physics. Then I'm going to grab democracy because the Statue of Liberty would be pretty useful uh, for this huge landmass I've got. Extra specialist. We can pick up some of this other stuff too for freebies. I've got galleons coming over here to colonize this land. And I'll probably just have those cities on automate because I don't feel like doing anything with them. No. To every action, there is always opposed an equal reaction. Okay. Give me a say. And do whatever the hell you want. I can build culture now. I got a source of uranium. I got two uranium on this whole landmass. That's good. We will absolutely tunnel over that. Poor thing. I just gotta find a worker. I think they've all gone to the west. Workers! There you kids are. Get over here. And then, that's a village? Yeah, we'll bulldoze over that too. Another worker. Get over here. I'll leave the rest of them, I think, for when I eventually get railroads.
Oh yeah. You need to go over here. Get on over here. There's my great scientist. We'll keep him. Put him in the bank. Do whatever the hell you want. And these guys are about in that category as well, of doing whatever the hell they want. Uh, I believe that's covered all the tiles here. I could road. I guess. There's no point for me roading any of this shit. They're for the horse, I guess. All right, good. Any whipping I want to take care of. I'm so glad you asked. I love a good whip. I misspelled Civilization Six. Pretty sure I didn't. It's also not true. It's not the game everyone's playing. I understand how you could be confused, though. Put that whip to work. Good. Weaken all my cities and my research. Right, this city got the Buddhism. Also, having the city be on automation there reminded me of something I can do. So we're going to do that. Hello, Peter Galleon. Uh, nah, I'm good. No free man shall be taken, imprisoned, or in any other way destroyed, except by the lawful judgment of his peers. Nope. Now that's gonna work. Give me that courthouse. Give me that. Give me that. Okay. Mind over that, please. <laughs> Take it easy, Cloak. And I'm just gonna have you not be on automate. Get chopping. Howdy. Courthouse, give me a lighthouse. I will... I spread. I can chop these down manually. Instead of allowing the AI to do that. Do, do, do. That's right, Fanny. Alright, good. We get democracy next turn. Almost up to 2,000 beakers. I definitely want to build the Statue of Liberty. But where will I do that? Let's get a forge here. In the city that has such anger. Gonna give it a little bit more unhealth as well. It has been said that democracy is the worst form of government. 
except all the others that have been tried. Uh, go for that for now. And you don't need to do anything, really. You put some hammers in the Sistine Chapel, because eventually that's going to be built, and I'll get some money off of that. Okay, where was that enemy spotting thing? Barb war Archer, Barb Warrior. That's no big deal. That's just junk. I ain't worried about that. Okay, chop that down for me, please. And begin trucking on over. Get another longbow here. And uh, we'll get another longbow over there. Find that for me, please. And we'll keep rolling. Good. Good, 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 good. No. Lighthouse. Do a market here next. Lighthouse. Give me an observatory here next. Here they come. Popped iron for free outside Chichen Itza? Alright, cool. It's worthwhile. Hmm. I shouldn't lose that. And if I do, well, all these workers can go to heaven. All right, cool. Got that. Inefficient whip. You'll get caught up in the... Go to sleep. Tell you what, we'll build a forge here. AIs grabbing astronomy. Once I see them with astronomy, they are a threat to come over here and murder me. Gotta keep that in mind. While the AI is not great at naval invasion, they can certainly attempt such a thing. That's okay. Alright. Whip the Taj? When it becomes available? I don't think so. This place is full of poison, but I don't think that's happening. I'd have to whip off all those beautiful tiles. Good. What was I percentage chance to win that? Yeah. Yeah. Barb Archer attacking into a fortified longbow in a setting. That's about what I expected. For me to get otherwise would have been offensive. Forest Preserve. What the hell ever. Alright. You can go back to... Let's see here. That's not what I had you do. I'm just going to automate you kids. Okay. 
I don't need you all stacked together, though, but you'll figure it out. <laughs> A long day of great value for you. <laughs> well done. Let's go ahead and grab that. I'm not going to whip that forge. This city is definitely a whippable one. You're fine. I don't really need a lighthouse here. I don't want you to work those tiles. They're not going to replace all my improvements. I have them set to leave old improvements. It can't be done. No. I see. Forced me to come out of the city by trapping the worker. Well done. You did it, you got me. Okay. I want to chop down these forests. An ugly whip, but that's okay. We're not going to be doing that much of that. Let's mop up the rest of this tech tree. When I give food to the poor, they call me a saint. When I ask why the poor have no food, they call me a communist. Grab rifling. Customs house? Eh, I'm not really compelled on that. Brimlin would be nice. Let's get the Statue of Liberty there. It's not the capital, but the capital is busy with Taj. Okay, let's transfer on over. Alt C, Alt C. Uh, wasn't expecting it to do that to me. And you can just automate. We'll chop that down first. Automate. Unload. Go over here. Fortify in. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. Glad you understand. Go to sleep. Great, another one. You can also come over here to go to sleep. Do I want to build another city? Here. I don't think so. I mean, yeah, there's the crab, but I don't think I care enough. We're past the point of me being motivated to do stuff just because of the Great Lighthouse. That's two more cities. There's room for a city here, but I don't really care. If someone else wants to settle those spots, that's fine by me. I just can't be asked. Here's what I can be asked to do. Let's grab that. Workboat. Culture. Polish that off. Russia going after Lib. They trade that to them. I don't really see why I would want to care. I'm not going to care enough about accelerating the tech rate of these AIs. I'm not going to be using them for anything. I'll just leave them in the dirt. Even my, even my vassal. Just skyrocket down the space. Okay. I tell you what. Most everyone has philosophy. I don't need theology, though. I'd worry about it if the AI, if the the viewers had voted for Dom instead of space, but they didn't. Okay. 
Ooh, cha. All right. Cool. Nope. You can get more of what you want with a kind word and a gun than you can with just a kind word. All right, sure. Put hammers in the Kremlin. I am interested in getting that wonder. Something to deny the AI. I don't. I don't think too kindly of or highly of your ability to grab an observatory in university without me whipping. Go for it. Chop that down, and then you will be automated for sure. Automate. Unload. And... Come on down here. See what you can see down here. Do 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 uh, do 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 There's room for some micro if I want to fix like which cities have which tiles, but uh, I don't think that's a level of micro that's required at this point. I put forward as much effort as the game requires me to, like finally getting that. <laughs> Number of cities founded there. Power grows out of the barrel of a gun. Get biology next. Chemistry, biology. That'll be nice. Get some railroad next. Have a look. Where were those cities founded? I can't tell. Directly. No, we got a Vladivostok there. That wasn't immediately founded, but there is something there. Goth with the silver. Yeah, 25 cities. It's a beautiful thing. Upgrade this unit to a rifle before I send it out there? Nah, not necessary. Let's go see what's out there. Maybe it will be worth it for me to settle another city. Take a nap. Have a load off your feet. Golden Age is about to end soon. That's unacceptable. Let's keep it rolling. Sure. We'll take it away from him in ten turns. I don't care. It's just sugar. It's not that big of a deal. We'll get some gold from him, too. That'll improve my cities that have forges. Chemistry means the difference between poverty and starvation <laughs> and the abundant... You get that out of my teeth. That doesn't belong there, damn it. Hey, Sistine got built, finally! It's 1585 AD, and Sitting Bull built Sistine. Woo! All right. Good work. About damn time that got built. That would have been built much sooner had I had had I not thumped Louis, because he was researching music even as I was thumping him, and he got the great artist from it. It's not a wonder I much care about having, unless, you know, for like a denial thing, or, use your words, Grimoth, a denial thing, I lost my words, <laughs> or if I'm, oh god, I'm pursuing like a cultural thing, or 
I really need to get my borders expanded. Someone's putting pressure on me. But in this situation, no one's putting pressure on me. If Lily were still right in my face, that wouldn't matter. I declare wars on people for something. Like, building that in my face. But as I believe I noted last stream, I've declared wars on people for less, so... It's not really a strong statement. I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. Thanks for upsetting Bob Page. That bastard deserves it. Here's some fail gold. From uh, the times I spent building the, the Sistine. Waiting for someone to grab that. Just rolled my eyes. I don't think anything I'm going to find out here is going to be relevant. You're building cottages? I told you to focus on food and hammers. I tell you to just focus on hammers. Don't do that. I don't need your damn cottage in the here. It's turn 229. There's no cottages coming up on this island. Try again. Can't let them damn workers walk over you. Ah, that is one of the cities Peter grabbed. Little fishing village. Good work, Peter. Now it's perfect that you upset Bob. Every now and then he deserves to be punched in the face. Hello, hello. Bob is, Bob Page is very scary. It's understandable that you would uh, have concerns regarding him. Who's Bob? Guess it doesn't matter. Take care of that stuff. Move right along. Here's our Taj Mahal. Add another 12 turns of Golden Age. No music with the video, because I had the music turned off, because otherwise the bad people would get me, because everyone in the universe owns the music in this game. Or so they say. Because everyone owns all the music in the medieval and renaissance periods. Everyone did everyone's renditions of, of Mozart and Bach and Beethoven. Alright. Good. We got a customs house here. We'll call it a day. Alright. I'm going to automate you again. You're going to try this again. What you building there now? That's what I thought. Let's have a look. See what's happening down here. Brimlin's coming up. It'll be nice. There's biology. Now my farms don't need to be They're irrigated. The strongest of the species that survive. Farms produce an extra food. Responsive to change. Yay! That rice tile produces five food. It'll never be irrigated, though. This one produces six. That's way too many farms I'd have to chain. Disgusting. Darius is broken free again. Congrats. Peter got a great scientist. Chop down that final forest. What's going on over here? You guys have anything? Anything at all to, to warrant your continued existence? I ask for no particular reason. That's fine that you farm then. Whatever. Grimith tilts his head. Yeah. Yeah. Close to a coin flip. 
Wasn't actually expecting those guys to have enough bravery to come out and attack me. It's not a big deal. I still have two longbows for each city here. And I don't care enough about the, this existence or any more of the tiles here. So if the barbarians continue to be a threat to this section, whatever. If it really becomes a big deal, we'll just fling some money at them, turn these guys into rifles, and then it won't be an issue. The call will just throw money at the bitch. Good. 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 We're really at a point where I don't need a whip. Now let's turn off the whip for a bit. And let's flip into pacifism, emancipation, just for a time. Free speech? Maybe not free speech right now. Still gotta keep the rep. We'll lay off the whip. Or you can have that too. 2300 beakers per turn. Delicious. You would make a ship sail against the winds and currents by lighting a bonfire under her deck? I have no time for such nonsense. That's coal revealed. My population plus growth will put me close to the Dom line. Yeah. Do we have coal? I settled on coal. Doubled my capital on coal, so we definitively have coal. And then, over here we got coal. And that's it for coal. Alright. Well, we got coal, that's good. It'd be a pity if we didn't. Alright. Here's a thing. If you can build a levee, I want to know. Cool. You can get that after the Kremlin. You can work on it beforehand. I don't think I'm going to lose out of the damn Kremlin to anyone. That's all the places that can get levees. Three cities. Not much in the way of rivers. That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you have a bunch of rivers, but here in this archipelago nonsense, not a whole lot of river stuff. I would like for you to finish the custom house first. And then maybe we'll consider getting you some more health. Go for it. Right, I can't whip anymore. Habit to check that. Can I whip now? Can I whip now? Should I whip now? <laughs> Before that steam drill shall beat me down, I'll die with my hammer in my hand. Delightful. Finish chopping that, and that'll be the last forest we chop around these parts. Got room to chop some stuff down here. Statue of Liberty's gonna come up. It's good. Wynikapak finally getting education. Two AIs going after economics. My vassal going after gunpowder. Good, I'm proud of you, vassal. Lots of beautiful gold to scoop up there. But I don't feel like accelerating the AI's research rate in this game. i leave them in the dirt. In the dust. Probably time for me to get rid of these galleys. Nah, I'm attached to them. No one's plotting war. I'm in too scary of a position. In four turns, we'll revoke that free sugar I'm giving. Setting bowl. Okay. Oh, I could sell some resources for gold per turn, but I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Automate. Good work. Have that. Figure it out. Smolinsk. Why would you settle on that, man? That's... 
The tile with only real tile with production here. I do not count that as a tile with real production. <laughs> Whatever. There's silver there. After railroad, we're gonna stop tagging for a little bit. I fooled you. I fooled you. I got pig iron. I got pig iron. I got all pig iron. I got all pig iron. What is pig iron? AP religion finally made it to everyone, huh? Alright, fine. It's not actual iron. For more information, lob it into a search engine. Yep, the AP religion finally made it to me. That bastard. I could build those buildings and spread the religion around. Get more of an influencer say, but I just can't. I don't care. I don't want that in more of my cities. You're building a barracks. I'm proud of you, city. <laughs> All right, sure. This is what happens when you allow the AI to build things, and then you see what the AI builds. All right, yeah, whatever. I could have voted for him anyway. Could have gotten some brownie points for having voted for him. I don't care. Because he was the only contestant. I'm not quite the AI with super cheap upgrades. It's a pity. Let's grab that once you're done with that. Any other cities with unhealth? Yes. You two can squeeze in a grocer then. It's harder to build in a harbor. That'll be beneficial. Did I say harder to build in a harbor? Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting that done without a whip. Or unless I take that. You don't want to work that. You should work that. And the spy, of course. Fucking damn AI automation loving spies. All the other cities under citizen automation, except for my capital. Yes, good. What are my statistics up to? Mostly villages and towns. We have a forest preserve! Hooray! I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. Thanks for upsetting Bob, Carmine. I appreciate it. Gotta kick that bastard in the face whenever you can. I'm taking my sugar back now, you bastard. If you want that, you're gonna have to... Give me something for it, I tell you what. Cow and deer aren't that great. Gives me extra health with Supermarket. Ooh. Supermarket. We'll trade with them, though. You can have that sugar in exchange for that, and I will give you a pig in exchange for this cow. There. 
We're making deals. Weineke Park. I want this fur. In exchange, you can have this clam. There. Wheeling and dealing. Got the most resource exchanges with Sitting Bull of all people. Am I going to continue to run pacifism, or will I swap into free religion at some point? I don't think it bothers me one way or the other. AI's got a little bit of uh, anger pressure on them right now, because I'm in emancipation. So they have uh, minus one happiness, basically, in all their cities. I don't intend to run that forever, though. That's just to grow up my, uh, my non-towns into towns. Getting these tiles railroaded. Great. I could swap back into slavery right now. There's definitely some whipping to do. <laughs> but of course I would say that. Of course there's whipping that needs to be done. Good work with that barracks. I'm so proud of you. Everyone would cherish this moment as the moment you built the damn barracks. Nah, I'm good. Uh, sure. Twenty six hundred and twenty beakers. Delicious. 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 Tried to whip that out of habit. So cheap that only the rich will burn candles. This is gonna hurt. But I need that, huh? Yeah, I need that for assembly line. Damn. Alright. So I'm gonna lose a trade route in all of my cities. Corporation Ops leads the Great Lighthouse, which provides plus two trade routes in all coastal cities. It gives you one trade route per city, so that's nifty. But could be sad to lose that, but I want assembly line. I want some factories. I want to get access to infantry. Probably build a few infantry units. I want industrialism, which obsoletes ivory. Which is unfortunate. Uh, we're going to build some uh, higher power units so that no one's even going to think about crossing me. Might uh, take the time to grab some sushi as well. Do you have a great merchant kicking around? I do still have the great merchant kicking around. Yep. And instead of slinging them on another golden age, I can do that instead. Uh, I have spent almost no time playing Might and Magic 8. It's not a game that really resonated or caught my attention. Didn't have strong feelings on it when the game came out, and I've seen it played since, and... Uh, Never been like, fuck, yeah, I want to play that. So I have it. Is it time to swap out of that? Let's see how bad this will hurt me. 2655 to... 2593. That wasn't too awful of a jump. The capital lost some extra production. That'll change as we get some more towns in. Free speech. And I produce extra culture in my cities. whoop de doo Customs house, barracks, whatever. Corporation, noun, an ingenious device for obtaining individual profit without individual responsibility. Indeed. There's my Statue of Liberty as well. Gonna give me a free specialist in all those cities on the main continent. There's a, there's a mod 
a huge mod, Carmine, off of Celestial Heaven forums that I saw Chubo, C-H-U-B-O-H, a streamer, uh, recommended to me by iBeat go through like a couple years back that fuses Might and Magic 6, 7, and 8 together but runs off of like Might and Magic 8. So you can take like one party uh, through like all three storylines in whatever order that you desire. That might be something that catches your fancy. Build Broadway? Get some hit musicals? Eh. Ironworks. It's gonna be my Ironworks city. Paris has that much production just because I'm doing the wonder. It'd be funny if I made this my Ironworks city. Guess I do have a have with the Mui statues. So inappropriate to have this be the Ironwork City, but it you know, has the Moe statues. I gotta keep in mind that so much of that production is coming just from the Golden Age as well. Let's not be crazy with that. You know what? It amuses me. <laughs> Put it there. Sometimes when you're amused by a thing, there's no stopping that thing. You need a bank. Ah, oh, I need six banks. That's right. If I want to build Wall Street, I need six banks. Oh, we'll think about that later. Of course, my obscene research rate is going to subside a bit whenever I finally get out of my goal in aging. But this is basically just to ensure that no one's going to be able to touch me. I'm too far ahead of the field. I cannot be stopped. As I presume would happen. You're the only one without guilds? Or just any. I'm your worst enemy? Oh, come on. Don't be like that. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Get over it, buddy. No reason to be such a frowny face. Helped you out. Enjoy. <laughs> Woo, I guess. There's not going to be so many frowny faces due to religion whenever I do slide out of this religion. I'm just rocking it for now. It's, a, it's helping me produce another extra great person or two. I could really ramp up the great person generation with caste system, and I'm just being lazy on that front. Caste system combined with all my high pop sieves, I could throw out some more great people, but it's just like, bleh. there's no need. We've got enough great people, it's fine. It's great enough. There's no need for it to be greater. Wang. <laughs> yep. The viewers at the start of the stream voted for space narrowly over naval domination, so that's what we're going for, which means... Peaceful constructing. What's up? I don't think so. People can have the Model T in any color, so long as it's black. So long as it's black. That matters. I really need industrialism. Eventually. Lots of tanks. I haven't even revealed oil. Not able to build wells. Of 
I'm trying to familiarize myself with the late tech tree. I'd have to look up my proper space order. And I'm not under any rush, so it's not like I'm gonna fucking look it up. Let's grab that first before we grab that. Yeah, Warzy. Viewers voted. For... Space. So that's where we're going. Space. I've got two tickets to space. Multiplayer? No. It's been several years since I played a multiplayer Everything game of Civilization. And you get there in a car. And I have no interest in doing so. Isn't space the can? There's not a canonical ending to Civilization, Gagroff. What the hell? <laughs> That's not how this game works. Canonical ending. Go home, you're drunk. My factories up. I think I'll wait on that. No, I'm definitely at a factory here. Here's my Kremlin. No, I won't be surprised. Civilization 4 has been out for plenty of years, and I invested quite a few hours in the multiplayer. I, I don't have any interest in... I barely have enough interest in playing this game anymore. I'm not looking for people to play it with. Got a factory there. I do want a forge and factory here. Let's put the full extent of it. And I will want a factory there. Alright. Left you behind. Let's be wasteful. Who knows, it might be relevant. Let's uh, spend a few turns upgrading some of these weak units I have garrisoning the cities. I've got the cash flow. And we can admire the change. Beyond the Sword Unaltered Gameplay mod. With the bull DLL. Just a nice, casual, relaxing game on Monarch difficulty. Not a big deal. Another great spy. Yeah. Setting Bull's got a golden age. Good work. Russia? Has some more Tundra Iceball cities. I've got a couple of fishing villages, because they colonized that stuff that I just didn't bother with. Louis just grabbed this city. Just settled that over there. Got access to oil. Inca is doing pretty alright. They haven't gone back to war with the Byzantines. They certainly got the better of them. Not really a place for them to expand to, as AIs are grabbing astronomy. And Justinian doesn't have much anywhere to go. 
I know the least about this landmass, but it doesn't really matter. Take it easy, Shaman. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take Louie to space so that he can build some wonders for us all. Come on, Louie! Here we go. You can see what that's done to the numbers, even just uh, upgrading a few units. Because they are so strong. We won't trade wheat. Oh no. It's because I believe I have a source of wheat from one of my cities that's hooked up now. No, it's not true. Okay. What unit types do I have left? I have a warrior left? So I do. I have those longbows. There we go. All better. AI is starting to get nationalism and corporation here. As we approach 1700 AD. Not, not one of the AIs uh, really ran away with the game here. Didn't have the quality of land to do so. And as I've noted on several occasions, the AI is not great at this whole naval invasion thing. These two fought a war that appears to have just been totally indecisive. I don't know how long that war raged. Justinian is a strong religious zealot. And so would have bashed his head against, uh, Wina Kapak for sure. A bit of gold to scoop up. No need. Done upgrading. Let's go. Louis founded another city. Good work, Louis. I'm proud of you. You keep colonizing. You keep making the dream happen. What are we gonna do with this? Sure. Build this. Pretend like that's gonna be relevant. Are you even producing any cold? Yeah. Yeah, you are. Good. And the next turn, we'll see what civics I wanna stick with for. Potentially the, uh, until, well, not until the end of the game, but for a while. There's that. I don't feel like powering it. Get public transportation here, though. There's a strong argument for that. Grab a harbor? Do you have a grocer here? Grab a harbor first. Then get the grocer. How are you doing here on health? Not great. I don't even have an aqueduct here. Grab that. Okay. I'm coming out of religion. I'll keep free speech. Do I care about keeping emancipation? Not really. Most of my villages are already towns. What do I want to run, then? We don't really need caste system. Slavery would be useful just for a few crummy fishing villages. Get a little bit of extra production up, but at this point I think I'm done whipping. I'll just keep an emancipation to put extra pressure on the AIs to be a jerk. Might slow me down, but I, I don't care enough. So, free religion. We'll keep free market. I'll keep free speech, and we'll keep rep for now. Ah, we'll switch to universal suffrage. If I want to rush something, I can just get gold. There we go. 
That's gonna change how all the AIs feel about me. Louis will like me less because I'm no longer in Judaism, but everyone else is gonna like me more. Hooray! Friendship. Like I care. There's my rush purchasing power there. I could have uh, used the Golden Age, combined with Universal Suffrage, to rush purchase a lot. Look at those hammers. It's beautiful. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Actually, looking at the landmass here, I do have oil. Okay. I didn't pay that hard of attention to it. Sitting Bull settled here. Hmm. Good for you, Sitting Bull. Good for you. He got that oil. Well, eventually. So I will need plastics if I want to secure oil. We can do that. He wouldn't have known where it was. He wouldn't have been able to see it. There is one rule for the industrialist, and that is... Make the best quality of goods possible, at the lowest cost possible, paying the highest wages possible. There's our aluminum. I have one source of aluminum. Alright. Good thing I colonized this, then. There's the end of my golden age. Or golden age. Why are you so mad? It's because I no longer have ivory. And they were utilizing that resource, damn it. Justinian, how's it going? Would you like... some bananas? We'll secure that. No, Daggeroth, that's mechanically untrue. The AI legit can't see those resources until they get the actual tech for it. Go for it. You're stagnant. You're not working that tile, and it's pissing me off. Just take the damn thing. <laughs> I guess there's no point, so go ahead and have that. I'm not going to bother adjusting the specialist there. I'm done with that micro. Good. Taking care of tile improvements over here. All right. Let's move on. You got a lighthouse here. I think I'm done hearing from you. Never talk to me again. That'll give me plastics in one turn. And... We can move on. We'll slowly get ironworks. You're gonna work on the Pentagon and slowly get that to deny that to the AI. I've now obsoleted fur. I just want to say one word to you. Just one word. Plastics. There's my oil. Now the city's angry again, so it's going to slowly starve. It's their fault. I don't need standard ethanol. Darius got Versailles. Good for him. All right. Yeah, you've got a little bit of production courtesy of the towns.
470 gold and a 230 over there. Darius is not teching at all. Hmm. Well, if he killed his research to go culture, maybe he's doing unit upgrades. Like, he's not going to reach it anytime soon. Sitting Bull's actually the closest threat, and even then he's way too far away. He ain't going to last that long. That said... I'll call you. That's a lot of... That's a lot of money. You are sort of partially working on this research. So I will not scoop up all the cash. I won't accelerate you, then. I know. They threw away the ivory, they threw away the furs. These are no longer good for us. In the process, the entire city is just starving. Ah, it's too crowded. <laughs> We're enraged. I can build theater to sort of resolve that. I think it will. Any other cities, like, super pissy at me? No. Any other cities really unhealthy? Yes. Because you decided to build the factory and the coal plant. That would be why. As to diseases, make a habit of two things. To help, or at least to do no harm. To do no harm. All right. Let's grab radio. Get Christo Redentor. I'm going to skip mass media. I don't need that. Let's go for superconductors next. Uh, uh, try that again. Good. We'll get the labs up to get extra spaceship production. I'm trying to remember my order. Engines take the longest time to produce, so I definitely want that. Obviously, I need this, but that doesn't take many hammers. We'll need the casings. We can build those in multiple cities. The life support is pretty cheap. And then that. Okay. That'll be that. He said choosing to believe that was true while well, secretly fearing it was not. That's what the audience at the start of the stream voted for. How I was going to resolve this game. Otherwise, I was going to go kill everyone with rifles and galleons. What the hell are you doing over here? The answer is dying. Take advantage of uh, my Primlin. Speed up a few things. Observatory here. Delightful. Get a university. Library here. Get an observatory. Get a market. University here. You're done. You're good. Great. Okay. Cave Man of the Cosmos just has a lot of stuff in it, including my voice for quite a number of uh, tech lines in that game. I wonder was long since removed. As it should have been. The Great Scientist. Alright. Well, that's not a unique number of four. 
It's not gonna be anymore anyway. Uh, where would I found Tsutsushi? Probably in Orleans. And I think I'm gonna have some places that are making wealth build me a few banks. Okay, if you're making wealth, give me a bank. Just light a bank in there for me. Then one fine morning, she puts on a New York station. You know, her life was saved by rock and roll. Glad her life was saved by rock and roll. That's important. Sid Sushi. After a grocer, you need to build a bank, and then you need to repeat these executives to the ends of the earth. That way we can get more food in these cities so they can grow even bigger. I'd like mining ink as well, but I need a great engineer for that, and maybe I'll get one, maybe I won't. Useful statement, I know. Okay, we got a bank here. What's turn lengths look like for some of these things? That's ugly. That's gonna be ugly. We'll quick build some of this other stuff. Remember, I have cheaper building. Courtesy of my Kremlin. So, cheaper rush build. That way we can get ourselves some Wall Street, once we get that bank out. reason why I put that there is because I'm already getting money here from a building. And uh, Wall Street is gonna give a lot of extra bank. That'll be pretty nice. Hello! After Broadway, I want you to build a gorgeous dam. And for the Pentagon, well, you build the Eiffel Tower, because it's appropriate there. That's right. Instead of using slavery, we just buy things with our money. Uh, sure, we'll pretend like it matters. The little lies we tell ourselves. How we sleep better. All right, good. No, Janara. I'm the wrong person to, to ask about any modifications. It's, a, it's enough of a surprise that I'm playing this game again at all. I wasn't worried. <laughs> Believe me, I was not worried. I also did not think I'd be broadcasting this morning, but here we are. Missionaries and executives start automated. Go get them, tiger. I think we're done rush buying. Well, sort of. Still got a few other places. 
Let's go after that tech. No. No, extended break from Daggerfall. Not in any rush to play that game again. As delightful as it is. Peter doesn't have horses? Oh, heavens, you can have that. You can have horses, Peter. There you go, buddy. Didn't realize you didn't have any damn horses. It's tragic. I'll trade you a stone? Sure, I'll trade you a stone. Why like Pac doesn't have horses either? I'm a nice guy. I'll hook him up. I'm doing these trades to make my Sid Sushi even more powerful. That's why I'm able to keep trading for the same resource over and over. That way, we get plus 13 food in each city. Build a hospital down there? Oh, you crazy city. I guess you, you did kill your health. It makes sense. Uh, hmm. I want you to take up the mantle of producing those. I would like you to do it quicker, but I understand why you're not able to. No. Not giving you a ton of gold for theology. You can't throw out a window. No need to get the damn internet. See that Broadway there in action? You're just tuning in. If you came to see an interesting game that was in the balance, you've come to the wrong place. This game was decided before this stream started. I decided this last stream. We're not under any concern or threat. I merely had viewers who joined me at the start decide, vote on what it, victory I was going to pursue. Sort of pursue in my haphazard way. We ended up with this. 33 turns for that? Uh, <laughs> Getting extra power here would be nice and speed that up. Nah, 33 turns. That's not gonna fucking matter at all. It's not gonna matter at all. We'll pretend like it does, though. It's the little lies we tell ourselves to sleep better at night. Buy it. No. No. I'm keeping the coal. Thanks. How would you be on building Three Gorges Dam? You can't. How would you be on building Three Gorges Dam? Oh, you could if I didn't queue it up. It's terrible across the board. Mining ink would certainly be nice. Oh well. Sheep? 
I don't have sheep. Can I give you a thing for sheep? I can give you hit musicals. You want some hit musicals, everyone? Hey, bud. You don't have any extras. I can trade to get your only copies, but I don't feel like it. Have some hit musicals. Have some hit musicals. Great. That takes that up to 14 food, 54 culture, costing an arm and a leg. It'll be nice and profitable once I get this wall street up. Hey, you got the ironworks done here. Good job. Good job. Get public transportation next. And maybe you build Christo. Because the capital's busy. That way Jesus can get a hug. I'll just speed build that. If I have the power to do so. Nah, you win this game with domination, you win it through culture, you win it through science. Those are all very viable, and if you watch the AI fight each other on deity difficulty so that they're the best at work, you see those diff you see those conditions at play. Conquest is an impossibility, almost an impossibility, due to how the game is structured. You'd basically just have to get like the conquest done near the start of the game. Or have only like a few like players on a map. This is Monarch. Please join us by adopting bureaucracy. No, you must learn to respect our differences. He's now cautious with me. Well, if he's gonna come kill me for that, he's more than welcome to try. That isn't going to be my best spot to make tanks, but we're just going to make a few tanks. Just to really assert myself over the situation. That way if anyone had any thoughts about doing anything else. Which they shouldn't. Oh, you have some poor health. You an aqueduct. How are we doing on health? Try that again. How are we doing on health? Just you. Alright, cool. I know what you're trying to do. It won't work. Morning, Austin. Thanks for upsetting Bob. He deserves it. Ah, uh, I'm finishing a map of a game I never thought I'd play again, and this may be the last time I play this game again. I have no plans to play any more Civilization 4, but I didn't have any more plans to ever play Civ 4 again. I genuinely thought I was done with this game. That's how, that's how my mindset worked for the past couple of years. I had no desire or interest at all in ever playing this again. And then I ended up back here again two weeks ago. Last week? It was last week. Yeah, it was last week. The, the the stream title very much says that I don't intend to ever play this game again, so enjoy it while it lasts. But I like to play some Civilization VI. Would you like to shut the fuck up? <laughs> Civ VI didn't impress me. I'm not offended by it. What it doesn't do a whole lot happens. for me. The feeling that power is growing and that resistance is overcome. Hey, all right. 
We got a great engineer after all. I could throw that into Three Gorges Dam. I could also fling that into a potential golden age, but no. No. I don't know what the hell I'm having you kids do. Just hanging out playing Nintendo? Sure. I'm not gonna use them. Just hang out there and play Nintendo. Justinian declared war on Wynikapak. They return to war. Hooray! They're back. They're back to war. They did it. That's them. They're at war again. Slowing each other down. Dragging each other down even more. Woo! I'll try Civilization Seven. <laughs> Should it be a thing? When, upon its creation? We'll see how I feel about it. At that time. Just as I tried Civ 6 through a friend's account to determine whether I was going to buy the game and play it. And I wasn't terribly impressed. I don't think the game's bad, just not for me. I, of course, have it for freezies through, uh, you know, Epic Games these days. And I've thought about playing it again, but I'm like, nah, 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 I'm good. Whatever, I still don't care. It's too crowded. We demand more toys. Me, 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 me. I need to do that one more time for me, please. Spread it to a different city that I can use to generate that. I think I'm just tired of 4X games, Civ games? I mean, I play much less strategy than what I used to when I was younger. I'm playing Shadow Empire right now. I haven't played Six Ages for a bit. Still putter around with that. I can build Christo. How much was rushing that cost? Hmm. Now I'm thinking with money. What the hell am I doing? Just slow building these damn wonders. I'm a fool. <laughs> Looks like this fiber optics is going to obsolete Kremlin as well. What the hell? Stop the... Stop everything forever. No. Hey, buddy. I don't really have anything more to trade you. You're really my only valuable, valid trading target, so... Have some hit musicals for another gold repeat. Have I ever tried Europa Universalis? Yeah, I've got a few hundred hours in four. I had uh, recorded a multiplayer series, which I'd considered uploading to the channel, but it, uh, it never, like, it didn't meet my standards. That's one of the, uh, that's one of the series that just got obliterated before I ever started publishing anything. I held on to those videos just in case it didn't materialize well, and it didn't. There's the Pentagon. Not like that matters. Denies it to the AI. Woo! I've just basically taken over Louis's role of building wonders in Paris for him. <laughs> there was a one video where I just shook my head at AI coalitions in that game. It wasn't me being, like, super upset. It was just like, bah. 
What the hell, AI? They were being suicidal. Next turn, we speed up the Three Gorgeous Dam. Great. Peter's now got Emancipation and Universal Suffrage. Great. Spreading this stuff off continent to my other cities is going to be slightly annoying. I may not care that much. The measure of effort. I do hate applying myself. Let's just speed purchase that project using our copious amounts of cash, and while we're at it, let's speed purchase that too. Then we can reassess next turn. Yeah, Persia stopped researching. I feel like that the AI is trying to push culture there, and it is. But it is it's it's incapable of winning. Any chance I may stream you to reviews for Azor? No. I haven't played EU4 in a couple years. I don't really have much interest in playing the game again. There's plenty of Folks with plenty of content out there for that. You could say, for example, go to DDR Jake. Uh, Jake, of course, former former employee of Paradox. Uh, known for that Ryuku after action report many years back. That has then done like a slew of other U4 stuff along with other things. I believe he still plays the game. Yeah, I've played Vic Vicky 2 before. It has that old Paradox feel to it, because it's before the Klauswitz engine. I don't much enjoy playing the game because of that. Got that old uh, Paradox interface with how it's constructed. It's an alright game. I just don't think highly of it. Another great spy. Son of a bitch. Well... <laughs> So it goes. Liberty of Death? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I played that for the Super Nintendo. It didn't uh, particularly hold my interest compared to other Koei games. We actually see a bit more of Sitting Bull's territory, thanks to all the mapping for my naval units. So let's have a look at his 1,700 gold. <laughs> Poverty Point. I believe he has the Forbidden Palace in, which reminds me, I never built mine. Did I? No. Just been eating extra maintenance that I never needed to. Oh no, ah. Uh, well, you know what. We'll put the damn thing in Paris. There. We'll rush by that next turn. Why aren't I taking those cities? What? Like, I asked viewers at the start of the stream whether they wanted to see a naval domination or space. Naval domination would have been done. The game would be over by now. Space is ultimately what won. Why do I give a fuck? 
I'm winning the game. I don't need to go take more stuff. I've won the game. I have 25 cities. I haven't colonized since the start of the stream. Russia's barely got more than half of my count of cities. I don't need more land. I'm good. I don't have to apply myself more. This game is over. Why are you watching a stream of someone who's already beat this game? Like, I'm still going to space. I, this land does not... It's irrelevant. I don't care about it. You can go fuck yourself, Grinchy Boo. <laughs> there, I've given you your options. <laughs> You're welcome. Go hang out. Finally, get the Forbidden Palace, and I guess. What the hell are you doing over here? Starving. The huge. You don't have any other tiles to work. Take that. As one does. That's in your territory? No, 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 no. That doesn't need to be in your territory. The city's mad at me? How dare you? The little bastards. Okay. Anything else I want to set up super quick? I guess since I'm slowing this game down enough by not running the research, I guess we'll keep slowing it down even more. Continue to give me that. We eventually need laboratories up. Where do I think I'm going to have good hammers? Obviously here, in Paris. That's going to be one. I guess it makes sense that this city down here would have good hammers. Well, I did tell it to emphasize production. Good work, kids. Efficient. Okay. Good. Good, 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 good. We're gonna start tagging again now. Let's watch the Eiffel Tower be built. I've enjoyed my Kremlin. Too much. Too much. Some rush buying. I often don't do that in this game. I used to be able to partake. 1830 AD. Slowed my game down. Doing all that buying. See if I can speed it back up here. We got shit to do. Great spy. Good for you. Did have a win before turn 350. There's a single light of science, and to brighten it anywhere is to brighten it everywhere. 
Great. We need an Apollo program. With my Apollo program. You're working on it. It's in rocketry. Makes sense. Maybe we don't need fusion right away, though. Let's try that again, Grimoth. Don't care about the space elevator. Oh yeah, we need that. Hundred cool. percent research slider only losing twenty four gold a turn. That is a beautiful thing. Oh, that is a beautiful thing. How much money is this uh, Wall Street making me? Oh, you know, buckets of ducats. Oh, disgusting. I love it. Tell me more. It's not worth going out of your way to build a space elevator. To win a space thing. Don't bother. If the radiance of a thousand suns were to burst at once into the sky, that would be like the splendor of the mighty one. I am become death, the shatterer of worlds. Good. 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 Obviously building wealth in cities is helping me as well. Darius is now in rep. You can actually see everyone's research. I have all of the points. Peter and Sitting Bull are putting the full weight of their points into me. So good for them. I don't think about you anymore, Justin. You're relevant. The AI does love its espionage, though. It is only the gulf of the ocean that is preventing them from bombarding me and poisoning my water hole. And I know Sitting Bull is thinking about it, that son of a bitch. My mining executive has failed to expand into Chichen Itza. God. Will wonders ever cease? I don't feel like building the Manhattan Project. That sounds irresponsible. I don't feel like building any of that other stuff either. Let's just move on. Setting bulls getting rifling. Good for him. Artillery adds dignity to what would otherwise be a vulgar brawl. We're losing more gold per turn as uh, more things get expanded. I'm in free market too. That's making my maintenance cost cheaper. I also don't intend to go after mass media to build the UN. I don't need that. I have no interest. Great scientist from Louis. Congratulations, Louis. Okay. Ah, oh, yes. Privateer. One moment. Privateers can be sent around by anyone. Woo! Behold the power of the privateer. They could come beat me up at any time for any reason. Aha! The mighty privateer. Behold its wonder and splendor. That was my suitably impressed voice. I hope you were all suitably impressed. And then it ran to my transport. Yeah. The earth is the cradle of the mind, but one cannot eternally live in a cradle. So 
we're actually going to spend a bit of time here upgrading boats. A little bit of time. In case uh, anyone else gets cute ideas about coming to pillage my ship. I'm not impressed. Okay. 13 to... With Cox's head in confusion. What the hell do you mean? Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's my own damn fault. I'm the one who put that there last stream. And I didn't correct that when I saw the aluminum. Ah. No one to blame but myself. Build the damn thing anyway. He said bitterly. My deals. No, I'm not trading you uranium. Who, who, who has come to me? Another privateer. Get the fuck out of here. Go home, AI. You're drunk. Come over here. <laughs> Damn it, Griff. I'm busy. <sighs> That's it. <clears throat> How bad do we want to go here? <clears throat> All right, we're getting nerdy here. Griffin God, are you sitting on the F5 key? Because your ass is refreshing. That is your dreadful pickup line. You're welcome. Damn fool, sending privateers in my face. Oh! Peter's going after mass media. He might erect the UN. Great. Wonderful. Hurry up! <laughs> I needed that aluminum 20 turns ago. My own damn fault. was the single best thing I ever heard. <laughs> ah. 
I don't really care about gold per turn. Good. All right. The corporations continue to expand, providing hammers and food to all of the cities on this continent. Great. Raw hammers. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. That's that fixed. We did it. I'm in the future era. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I'm in the future. I can finish the construction of rock and roll. Hooray. I might be able to get another Golden Age yet. Depends on what Orleans produces for me. Of course, I fucked up by not having the Apollo project done sooner. I should have grabbed that instead of playing around with fiber optics. That would have been nice. I've had that done that I could have whipped out my... Not whipped out, but I could have made my spaceship parts. Oh well. I'm too rusty at this damn game to play it properly. These things happen. Now I have satellites. Beep. 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 Peter founded... Beep. Civilized Jewelers. Which is bleh. Whatever. Now we can see the whole world map in all of its splendor and glory. There's a lot of fucking gold. Like, I'm used to these huge clusters of fur. Like, in the Arctic? That's a lot of gold. Whatever. <laughs> well, Griff. That's because... I knew more about the game than all four of you put together. It's because I built the Great Lighthouse and just colonized. And that's because I traded Washington rifles in front of your fucking face. I think it also helped that you guys oracle not a great tech. <laughs> See there are there are perks to having everyone like all those people together in like a team unity. But then there are disadvantages as well. Like, they can all, like, be dragged down as, like, the tech costs get, like, more expensive for them. Me, it was just one person I had to watch over. I met everyone else across the ocean. It was good times. It was great fun. We done yet? Stupid project that I can't hurry. Meh. I'm glad that your role here is to extol the virtues of, of mods and other things, like full of resources to map instead of shuffle that ended up with archipelago. It's just monarch difficulty. You know, that novice level that you're talking about. Alright, I think we're good here. City Bull's actually rated as more powerful than me. Good work, City Bull. He did it. He clawed his way up to relevance.
the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Okay. Let's get that building the engine. Oh. Hmm. Didn't quite do what I wanted. Oh well. Let's get you building the other engine. Let's get that. And begin producing thrusters. Along with everything else. There we go. And... We'll get that done next turn. Anything else I want to take care of? No. Ugh, we're done spreading Sitsushi on this continent. We just have a few remaining executives that are sitting in place, and I'm not going to bundle them up and transport them. The city's off-island. I just don't need to. Same is going to happen with Mining Inc. soon, which is why all five of them are squatting here. Sure thing, automated production city. Let's see here. What else? You've been playing multiplayer Beyond the Sword for 10 years, extreme veteran of of all this time, and you don't understand why you would corp your own cities? All right, so I'll go ahead and explain this for you. So Mining Inc. and Sitsushis are both installed in the same city that has a Judaism uh, shrine and Wall Street running, which is heavily covering, covering the costs of having these cities spread out across my empire, the corporations. Now, Sushi as well as Mining Inc., are both providing me a raw 13 food in each of the city in which the corporations are installed, which is allowing the cities to grow by several pop sizes, and also providing 11 raw hammers, which is allowing the cities to quickly build things, particularly the cities that didn't have that many hammers anyway due to the jungle terrain, uh, and all the cities I have spread across, allowing them to quickly build things such that I might be randomly spinning at them. That would be why. And the costs, as it are, combined with free market, are negligible when I have Wall Street in the same city as these two corporation headquarters. That's why. Now, of course, you could absolutely found a cruddy corporation like Civilized Jewelers and then spread it to the AIs, hoping that they spread it as well, allowing you to profit from that, whereas they don't gain much benefit from it. Or you can gain the immense benefit of having Sitsushi and mining ink in your cities. That would be why you would corp your own cities. Soon it will be a sin for parents to have a child which carries the heavy burden of genetic disease. Let's kill that real quick. In particular case of the archipelago, 
for a benefit for said sushi. Courtesy of the 13 food I'm getting in each city that which it's installed. Don't you run state property? Why would I run state property in this game? All this stuff is grassland. That I turned into cottages with Pakal. There's absolutely great argument for running state property in games, but that's game dependent. You completely can run workshops and windmills and water wheels and crush things that way, but I don't have that many river tiles. I have a few smatterings of hills. And instead I have a bunch of towns. So in the case of this particular game, no. This place, I just said to be heavily production focused and automate completely, so you will see a few workshops and farms here. In a different map, absolutely I'd run state property. Just not this one. Sure. You can have them. <laughs> this map sucks. You know? I'm not gonna argue with it on that one. I wasn't very envious of my start that I rolled. But uh, when I looked around at the other AI starts, Louis was, was pretty nice here. Of course, I exiled him over here after I took his land. Wanakapak had it rough. Besides his starting capital, of course, because he's Wanakapak. Poor Justinian. Didn't have much in the way of a capital. I've been over Peter's on a number of occasions with his double wine and deer, plains deer. Of course, that's a... Uh, when the AI, when the world builder algorithm generates the starts, it'll have a look at the start it generates and ask itself whether it needs to do anything more. For example, I had a bunch of forests around my start. Normally this place would have been smothered with jungle, and it was to the left and to the right of me. But in this particular case, it was like, no, he needs forests instead. How, did, how was Darius' start turn out? Okay. Everyone had great land. Mine just ended up being far superior once I got ironworking and calendar and spent all the worker turns clearing it out. What mod am I using? This is the Beyond the Sword Unaltered gameplay mod. With the bull DLL. Which, uh, modifies the interface. That's it. And we're playing on a shuffle map, which rolled Archipelago. A Native American privateer. Well, that's a spoiler. <laughs> good work, Native Americans. You got my caravel that was exploring. You did good. I hope you're proud of yourselves. Sloppy building, Grimoth. That's okay. Have I tried K-Mod? I don't have much interest in it. Nor do I have much interest in, like, the full of resources maps. We do not inherit the Earth from our ancestors. We borrow it from our children. Okay. I should take care of that for me. I don't need SDA. We don't need advanced flight or stealth. We don't need mass media. I don't need robotics. I don't need refrigeration. We don't need flight. We're good. Just click on that. It's been years since I played multiplayer. I don't spend that much time playing Civilization 4 anymore. Great. We'll add it here. We'll watch the animations. Sure. Uh, I played some of Caveman to Cosmos. Sure.
No thanks. I'm sure it's more stable now than what it was when I last played it. Once you have tasted flight, you will walk the earth with your eyes turned skyward. Marathon, there huh? You have been, and there you will long to return. I fiddle around with that speed whenever I first play the game, but the game, like Civilization 4, isn't particularly constructed to do that. When you modify the uh, the game speeds, and this is true for the other Civilization games as well, which allow for that adjustment. Um, tech, of course, is slower, but it makes unit turns more powerful whenever you actually get like units out. Uh, because even with the severely lengthened game speed, they still get their same moves every turn. It prolongs tech eras. Which can be enjoyable. It's a matter of personal preference and taste, of course. I like that stuff more than whenever I first got into Civ 4. I just play on normal speed. Same is true for bumping things down to quick speed. It really speeds up, like, technological eras, so it's difficult to find a window of opportunity to get a good war in. By the time you march your army into a position to fight, uh, they could be obsolete. Doesn't matter. Let's finish winning this sloppy game. Sure. Now, as I've shown off in other series in the past, uh, there is a beauty in having all this timed, particularly whenever you're doing a space race, so that your stronger cities are working on the, the high the high build cost things, with like weaker cities resolving like lower build cost things. And then having the whole thing in sync so that you launch the spaceship at the same time as like multiple cities are finishing the builds. But, since I'm not under pressure in this one. It's a, it's a thing of irrelevance. It's not like an extra 20 or so turns is gonna make that big of a deal in the grand scheme of things. slipped the surly bonds of earth, put out my hand, and touched the face of God. Little silly privateers. No. Go back to Sea Patrol. Keep an eye out for other privateers that might come to try and pillage the tiles. Behind a veil, unseen yet present, I was the forceful soul. Peter took that barb sitting. He'll have access to silver. Congratulations to him. Where are the nukes? Behind the Manhattan Project. 
which I don't think anyone else has researched that, and I have no inclination to build up the thing. Hmm. Hold up. You can build wealth for now. Remove that. Take that. No one's really in a position. The future will be better tomorrow. Okay. Good. 16, 16. All right. Good. What's her time? Too long. We'll get that fixed. Here's our final thruster. Take a nap, along with everyone else. Don't worry about the stasis chamber anymore. Ten turns. That should be in the highest hammer city. Well, it's going to be there. Ten turns until we're done, then. And then another 10 turns for the launch, so that'll be before turn 350, as I noted. Okay. Delightful. <laughs> Should I have an uninstall party afterwards? Urge has been on uh, Push and Culture for a long time, but they don't have Sistine. Started that way too late. Not even the capital is going to get the legendary. That's Monarch difficulty for you. Sure, I'll uninstall the game then. It'll be exciting. I just click a few things with my mouse and ta-da. Peter got Hollywood. I expected him to throw out Uni the United Nations. Might have seen a little bit of action involving that at the end of the game. Okay. Once all the cities are done building their spaceship parts, we'll, uh, we'll queue up a few things. A few military units to put in the capital. Not everyone, Deb. Glad everyone wants to celebrate really loud, but it's deafening, me. Ah, screw it. I'll just turn down my headset. All right. Let's launch the damn thing. There we go. Our haphazardly erected empire managed to put us up a spaceship. We did it. Somehow, against the odds, we managed.
Get a modern armor. I don't need a tech anymore. We'll get a marine too. Tech trading too? How easy? Yep. Really been leaning on that tech trading crutch this entire game. You caught me. Oh! You came a bit too late for me, Great Merchant. Have I ever gone to war? Yes. Yes. I started as Pakal of the Mayans. Louis is the game. He's, he's my vassal who capitulated to me. And I have territory that he once possessed. Such as his capital of Paris. So yeah, I went to war. With him twice. And then, at the start of the stream, I asked whether viewers wanted to have me pursue domination. They chose to send me to space instead. Do I have archery? Yeah? Sure. Archery. The earliest tech I don't have is theology. Another great spy, you can join the party. Highest promoted piece? Well, I can build the heroic epic, so it's gonna be at least level 3. I might have a level 4 unit kicking around. Probably the great general. Where is the great general? Level 5. There you go. Medic 3. Turn 341. Woo. Watch my silent clip. To celebrate Christmas. Which has been brought now to the galaxy. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to these colonists who've come out here. They're going to be perfectly fine. No factions will develop, which will later cause schisms. Have a look at things. We'll slow that down. A hideous map. And there went all the excitement. After thumping Louis off the, the continent he started on. We just colonized those at the start of the stream and just built things haphazardly until I got together a spaceship. Hooray! And none of the other AIs were threats. Had one of them actually thumped another, 
like Lina Kapat killing Justinian or Sitting Bull killing Darius. Could have actually seen a genuine pressure, but we never did. Killed the most archers, that's not a surprise. Arb galleys there in second. And I lost the most catapults. Having built the most libraries and markets over granaries? Huh. And the towns, obviously the lead there. That's no surprise. All right, neat. Wonders wise. Delightful. As for the paragraphs, I am curious about how everyone rated in relation to each other on a few things. Besides me. Since the game stopped being in contest after I took Louis' land. Alright. Great. Setting bull, of course, with that heavy espionage emphasis right there at the end. That's him. If he could have reached my wells to poison my water holes, he would have. That's something his AI really loves to do. Huzzah. How did it feel coming back to Civilization 4? It was a thing that happened. And I'm good with not playing this game again. Right click, manage, uninstall. Would I like to uninstall this for my computer? Yes.